All right, hello everybody. Let's take a look at the market on Friday the 31st and it's 7 a.m. my time. Now, as you will recall from the previous videos, I said Thursday, uh, when I did a video on the weekend, I said Thursday is going to be a WTF day. It's going to be like a what the fuck day kind of thing and this is what happened, you know, what the fuck kind of thing. And I did say if the market gets here, we will definitely be shorting and I have just shorted two positions here. All right, so let's take a look at the sky to justify that. First of all, this is on a technical level. Let's first take a look at the technicals. Okay, as you can see, this is on the line here. So in terms of pricing, <coughs> so in terms of pricing, this is not a bad spot to be selling. In terms of strength, we still have a bit more room to go up, actually. Um, in the market, we still might head up a little bit more, and that wouldn't surprise me if we did. Technical wise, we could. Um, but let's take a look at the strength side of things um, from an astrological point of things. Now, this area will support um, head, sorry, not head, shoulders, head, shoulders. I was thinking this might head down this way. Um, and astrology was also telling me to short every time the market went up. So, but that didn't eventuate. So now we can delete this. Okay. And we can delete this. All right. Now today, a good spot to sell, obviously, was here from this week. I was noting if the market came up here, we want to sell. And astrologically, this is where we are right now. Okay, so the sun is on the ascendant, just over the ascendant. Um, I should have sold it a bit earlier, but I didn't wake up that early. Um, so let's see. Okay, we should have started selling around here. So that would have been around 5.50 a.m. my time. And that's 7, that's 6, that's 5 o'clock. All right, so we would have started to sell with Mars here, just around here, actually. Why? Because Sun with Chiron showing us we're at an adjustment level. So 5 a.m. bar, we should have been selling off, which is right here. Okay, we should have been selling off here with Chiron at the top here. And then Mars, as you can see, coming in. Once again, Mars with Jupiter on the midheaven. Boom, sudden move down, bang. Okay, and then the Sun and Mercury going over the descendant all right so this is Sun and Uranus and then Uranus is in the mid heaven let's see now where we're at where that's where we are all right so this this change should continue this should take us down to a point of change all right and let's stop that now let's start going forward every 15 minutes to see what will happen in the interim the moon is here so we should be going all the way down now okay throughout the hours throughout the morning hours and then we've got mercury opposing pluto right here okay so mercury and pluto what did that tell us well first of all this is going to be exact on the first of august 152 Mercury and Pluto is telling us we are at a point of change. Okay, so Pluto is a monetary planet as well. It represents it represents financial instruments, wealth. Um, it also represents dictatorships, oppression, things like that. But we're looking at it from a financial point of view. So it represents the establishment and and things that enhance or preserve power. Okay, so. It represents power. It also represents drastic changes. So financial instruments, drastic changes, beginnings and endings, these are all Pluto. So with Mercury being logic, being the trade, being the communicator, it's telling us that this is a sign where we should be changing. So we need to take that into consideration. And when we have that at the mid-heaven, obviously that's going to 
represent for us some kind of a bottom. Okay, so Mercury being um, transformation, change, communication, conveying ideas, all these kinds of stuff. Um, it should bring us to a beginning or an end. Okay, so this is the sign of the times for that. In the meantime, we have sold, like I said, from here, and this was a good time to sell. I'm a bit sorry, I'm about two hours late on the sell. We should have been selling here. Unfortunately, I was too late. But let's see what the day will bring to us. So by 12 p.m., we should still be going down, and the sun and Uranus, once again, should take us to a spot. All right, they should take us down to a spot. And look how this is working also with Mars and Jupiter. So this down mood, we should be coming down to 3,251, 3,245, 43 region. We should be coming down, all right? Um, and that should, like I said, follow through. Now, if you, if you noticed, the moon is not getting any aspects at the moment. So everything seems to be steady until Mercury and Saturn opposition starts. So once again, this time is going to be important. And that's 5.50 p.m. So the evening should be, my evening that is, that's when New York is going to be opening up. So it's going to be around, not, um, it's going to be around 8.00. 39, 30, about 11 a.m. New York. All right, so this will be about 11 a.m. New York. So around here, okay. Yeah, so we want to make sure we're on top of things. From lunchtime onwards. Okay, so it's going to be important for us. And as the market moves as well, as you can see, Mars and Jupiter are going to control this part here, Mars and Jupiter. And this aspect is not a good aspect, um, simply because Mars is sudden. It gives you sudden movements all over the place. So it could be like, you know, whipsaw like we we see like we saw here and a sudden push movement sudden up movement these sudden jerks are all usually mars but mars is crucial to timing and jupiter normally as a planet it represents good judgment good fortune you know wisdom forgiveness it's really a nice planet but with mars squaring it it could just you know topple everything over so you know knocking hope down the drain um, you know, end of dreams kind of thing. So everybody was dreaming that, uh, you know, hopeful, positive attitude, atmosphere, and Mars just shatters all that. So it's going to be dominating it here, all right? And then Sun with Uranus is still pushing it down. And also, look, Mercury here with Pluto, like I said, um, communicating to us that things are over and mercury saturn as well can probably bring it bring us down to a low point all right to a low point to a point of change once again by 6 7 p.m all right uh, and, it's in, and it's weird, well it's not weird, but it's unusual that the moon is not getting any aspects today. So by the time that's 7pm my time, that's how it is. And the market will close around there with noon at the top. All right. So it could be a bit of a fudgy market. We could find ourselves at the balance around here in the weekly pivot, bouncing up and down today. Um, at the end of the day, though, we should be coming down to a sport either here or down here today. And those hours, the lunchtime hours, are going to be important for us. And we want to be keeping an eye on the market there. 
right so anywhere after well actually you should start keeping an eye on things right now well we should be because we've got a trade on uh, but we should I'm expecting the market to come down 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 at least until lunchtime where we see the Sun crossing the mid heaven right? and that should bring the market um, to a support or resistance hopefully it'll be a support down here so we can take some profit um, and manage the trade okay um, with Sun Chiron market usually heads to resistance but that's already been done as you can see here so with Chiron and the Sun here all right so Chiron already Sun and Chiron already took the market up to a resistance level and then Mars with Jupiter came in with a sharp sell move bang here and that carried us forward so let's see this Chiron this is going to be over tomorrow so we should see the market coming down as you can see this is going to be bypassed later on as the more important aspects are going to be these now okay since the Chiron is now over the mid heaven and we should see the market there somewhere down at support levels and also Mercury and Saturn at 6 p.m. that's that is you know Saturn is the limit it's a borderline and in fact let's take a look at our chart on the software okay so here we go look here we've got Neptune and bring this foot up as well all right so you can see here we've got this is a Neptune line this is Pluto and Saturn down here so today we might just see the market popping its head down and remaining around here which is the 3233 3200 let's say 30 region and yeah there around here so we'll probably see the market popping its head down to around here today um, there we go all right so that's the SP 500 let's make this the one hour chart see where we're at and upgraded updated actually the data okay so on the one hour chart this is Saturn and Pluto line here on the one hour chart so that might bring us like I said yeah this is the okay see that's logical it's sold here look how good that is with our technical analysis Saturn and Pluto line here okay Mercury is down here 3221 which is around here so the market has the potential to come down okay today on the intraday all the way down here all right and it's not a one that they sold here with Pluto Saturn and Jupiter they're all here all of these three lines all right so as you can see that's where the market sold off okay not a coincidence at all and this is where we had our weekly level so just looking at that and looking at those lines there and then Okay, aligning the few hours before when the market did get there around three in the morning let's go back okay there you go all right Neptune at the top here Neptune is lined there and then okay Pluto Jupiter Saturn right there that is 12 a.m. okay that's 7 a.m. 6 5 4 3 2 midnight that's one o'clock okay so by one o'clock 
that's one o'clock as you can see here so by one o'clock okay. oh, this is funny you see Saturn all right Jupiter Pluto right at the top market gets there to that line and then they sell off okay and that is 12 a.m. and that is your Jupiter Saturn Pluto lines right there not bad huh so this whole thing comes together and that's how you can play it out you can do this for anything this is P500 but you can do silver gold whatever you trade so it's quite nice okay so if you know how to read the sky you add this to it you work together with this and then you know all your targets with the with the planets will come into play and as new aspects happen for example with mercury and pluto okay so that stop there okay right there mercury pluto okay so seven six five o'clock okay so it's there on the six o'clock and it's just boom then when mercury comes to the top by lunchtime so we might see the market again in one of those lines so this is going to be an interesting moment for us okay and then with sun we should keep pushing the market down hopefully all right yesterday i said 10 o'clock would be a surprise as well if you're following my posts i did post on social media where is that thing i did post on social media last night 11 hours ago when the market was at 7 p.m my time that was the 5 p.m bar because i said we're expecting for we're expecting something around 4 5 p.m okay and so sorry 5 6 p.m and that was the 5 p.m bar there and that's the 6 p.m bar and then i said another opportunity at 9 30 10 p.m and that's your 10 o'clock bar and then that's boom okay so if we take a look at 10 o'clock yesterday stop that so on the 30th of july 10 pm or 9 30 let's see there we are okay so as you can see once the moon flipped over And Mars is now coming in with Jupiter. Look at that move. That's Mars for you. And then at 11 o'clock it just shoots up. Sudden move. And by the time it's midnight, we're already at the top. So 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, midnight, we're at the top. That's it. And from there on, going south sun around us to a point of change shorts are being activated so this is how it's all working out it's a matter of just learning how to read it it's nothing complicated and we'll see how things go today have a great day